Hi everybody, today we're working on a 2005 Nissan Xterra with a 4.0 liter V6. Customer's concerned, it has an oil pressure gauge and when the vehicle warms up it's at a stoplight, the oil pressure gauge is way down by the L and a picture of an oil can comes on letting you know the pressure's low. So the way we diagnose that, I'll show you, is we put a mechanical gauge on there and look and see what that says. So first I'll show you, this is the setting unit here that plugs into the side of the engine block for the pressure. So what we did is we removed that and we put a mechanical gauge um, with a hose here and so it just screws right, it has adapters, it screws right in where the other one was. Now we'll go to our gauge. And you can see we don't have very much. Uh, we've got like two or three, two or three PSI. Now when you give it RPM gas, it, it goes up uh, in the middle, it's no problem at all. So, but at idle, there's not, there's not much there at all. There's like two or three PSI. And if you look at the specification from Nissan, and they're showing the engine RPM at idle speed. And this is KPI, uh, KPA, then the KG, then PSI is 14. So at idle speed, we should have 14. So instead of just replacing this, thinking it's got a bad sensor, you want to put a mechanical gauge and find out what the true reading is. When I first screwed it on, it had about 10 PSI, and the more sitting here running, the lower it got. And there's some service bulletins from Nissan, and they talk about this plate. They call it a rear oil pump plate, um, and the, the plate gets worn out, so it doesn't hold the oil pressure anymore at idle. So you have to do quite a bit of work to get this plate off to replace it. And um, I don't do that here, but we'll find another shop that can help him do that if he chooses to do the repair. But that's just a little tip. Uh, do the research, find out what you need, find out what the pressure is supposed to be. One more time, we're supposed to be uh, 14 at an idle. And we have, you know, two or three PSI. So it really helps to have this. I have this Identifix software and it gets you some pretty good, the same as the factory OEM specifications. And uh, it just makes it nice to have the good information, to have the service bulletins, so you can give the customer all the facts about their car. We're not doing with any guesswork here. Have a great day, everybody. See you next time.